let's look at uh, how to use the Excel function to draw uh, the density function and the cumulative function for normal distribution uh, precisely. So let's say X is a random variable that follows normal distribution with mu equal to 50 and sigma equal to 12. And let's explore a little bit to get a sense where, how the curve should look like. We can first look at only six points uh, on the X axis. Uh, we look at the one X equal to 50, where is, where is the center of the curve? And then we go to the lab by three sigmas. Here is uh, mu minus one sigma. Here's the mu minus two sigma. And here's the mu minus three sigma. And similarly, uh, we look to the right by one sigma, two sigma, and three sigma. And now let's look at, look, let's use the known dot this to calculate the density function first. Remember, we need to enter the X value, which in this case is mu minus three sigma. In this case, particular case is 14. And again, our mu is simply 50. And our standard de deviation sigma is 12. And in, the, in this case, since we want to show the density, uh, we would enter uh, false, or you can enter zero. So in this, if I enter this formula, it's gonna show us the density. And by the way, density is the, the bell-shaped curve is the density. Notice the density is really small. So that means that the curve is gonna be really close to the uh, horizontal axis. And let's do the cumulative probability by using the same formula, the same, same function with the same parameters, x equal to the same value here, and mu equal to 50, 12. The only thing that we're gonna do differently now is I would put true here. So the function will return the cumulative probability, right? And once we have that, you can select both cell together and then you can move your uh, cursor to the uh, bottom right. Uh, when the cursor becomes a solid cross, you can double click and all the formula is gonna be automatically uh, duplicated until the end of the data range. So let's look at these numbers and try to make sense of them, okay? So let's look at cumulative probability first. Notice that uh, with x equal to mu minus three sigma, the cumulative probability is really small. And as it increases, when you get to mu, which is the, uh, which is the center, you would have 50% cumulative probability. And that is to be expected because we know that normal distribution is a symmetrical one. So if you get to center, the cumulative probability should be 50. And and then if you continue to go to the right of the X axis, the cumulative probability is gonna inc keep increasing until it's approaching one. And so we can just plot these two, uh, these, two uh, uh, see these two set of data and see what it looked like, okay? So if I select the first two and I insert uh, scatter plot. So this is the X versus density. So this is more or less the bell shaped curve that you are familiar with. And we can do the second uh, sequence of point by select X value. And here I want to press control. So I can select a nine adjacent column to be used as the y-axis value. Now I will go to insert and then I will do a scatter plot. Now this, this is the density function and this is the cumulative probability. Notice that for the first graph, the y-axis means density and the meaning only the area underneath that curve takes on the meaning of probability. Uh, the density means 
is the density, the, the y-axis in this case doesn't mean probability. And for the second set, the cumulative probability, the y-axis is the probability. Again, how are these two graph related? If I go to, say for example, if I, if I go to 40, if I, if I calculate this area, and then it's the, the size of that area would be represented by this value, which is close to 0.2. Again, remember the whole area under any kind of density curve has to add up to one, which represents 100% probability. Of course, this curve is not as nice as we want, uh, but, but this gives you a sense that whenever you want to plot a normal distribution precisely, you should arrange the x axis value to cover from about negative three sigma to the positive three sigma. Therefore, you, you, you can display the, the, the a complete picture of the density curve. And then of course, now we can just increase the number of, of data point between these uh, two, uh, within this range, the plus minus three sigma, so we can increase more data point for X and then we can calculate the same value and it should produce a much nicer, much smooth, smoother uh, density curve and, and a cumulative probability curve. And we'll do that now. So I'm, so I'm gonna actually start from 10 instead of 14 and then I would end at 90. So to give a little bit of buffer on both ends. And uh, I would use the increment of one. So I will have quite a few X points. So the result will be a really smooth curve. So what you can do is I'm gonna start with 10 and then 11, and then I will use the Excel autofill to, to, uh, to get the sequence of X value. So I will just get up to say 93. And again, as I said earlier, that I would make 90, so to make it symmetrical. And uh, for remaining, now I need to delete this because of course they are no longer mu minus O plus sigmas. And here, the same thing, you double click. So the whole thing will be populated. And now again, I just need to uh, change the diagram. I just need to move the or I, it might be easier just reselect, recreate this two graph, right? So I, again, I always select the, um, using the, using the, the shortcut that I introduced in earlier, in earlier uh, lectures, you can quickly select the uh, intended range and then you can insert the same so this will give you a really nice smooth uh, density curve. And you can also um, experiment with different styles. So this gives you a really uh, smooth curve without the actual data point. This gives you both. So we, let's do this one for now. And similarly, I could do uh, I can select this and then uh, I can select a, another. So these are the points for the cumulative probability curve. And again, you can just insert, sketch the plot. Again, I would choose a smooth curve. So now this is the density curve for this particular uh, random variable. This is the cumulative curve for the same uh, probability, the same random variable. You can also uh, plot them together, but that would not be a really good um, representation of the two curve because the y axis are different. So if you plot the two curve in the same graph, this curve would be suppressed to be really close to the horizontal uh, line. So this is how you use those two functions uh, to 
visualize a normal distribution curve. And again, hopefully this is a good example for you to try to understand how these two curves are closely related to each other. Actually, once one is determined, the other is also determined. 